Tonight is the new moon, so I put out my rocks with some water that I got from the Colorado River to help cleanse them. And then later on, once they are cleansed, I will set intentions for some of my favorite crystals. Like I said, it is the new moon tonight and it is also the spring equinox. So it's super, super important to me to set new intentions and to cleanse my space a little bit. This is some of my leftover water that I got from the Colorado River, which you guys saw in my last video whenever Jordan and I went hiking. It is the most delicious water ever. So let me give you a little recap. And since today is a new week, I'm currently staying at a harvest host that is at a church right now. And I just talked to the owner of the church and she said that we could stay the whole entire week. Do you know how much weight that takes off my shoulder that I don't have to search for housing for the whole week and that means that I can plan what I want to do this weekend <gasps> so for the next week we'll be staying at this harvest host and that I think is going to do wonders for my mental health I can have a little bit more of a routine this week and I can edit I can get some things done and our slide is completely extended we just did a lot of cleaning this weekend at grandma's house because of that my rig is absolutely clean but so I'm going to dabble in a little bit of herbal creations for you guys I'm going to be making some elderberry syrup and some elderberry tea because my honey's not feeling so good so elderberry syrup is the best thing to have on hand and then just for myself for my matcha lattes I think I'm gonna use blueberry and lavender and make like a nice blueberry lavender syrup there's also this gigantic field that we are staying in and there is so much room for Indy to run around she is so excited to be outside right behind us there's a gorgeous view of the mountains and it is so quaint and darling Ask the harvest host if there's anything that I could do to repay her if there's any volunteering or things that she needed for the church and she said that the only thing that they needed was donations and normally you're supposed to spend like 10 to 20 dollars per night at a harvest host whether that's spending money on a product if it's a small business like I did at the winery or give a donation if you can so I'm gonna give them a hundred dollars for letting me stay for the whole week it has really just lifted a weight off my shoulders but tonight I'm going to be preparing for the spring equinox. So I'm starting with enjoying some delicious leftover Colorado river water. I'm just going to get some spiritual festivities going on. I did spring cleaning this weekend and deep cleaned the whole rig, did all the laundry and cleaned all of the carpets. And today I think I'm going to indulge in some delicious herbalism concoctions. <laughs> and I'm also gonna show you guys how I make them. Come on baby, let's go inside. Who's next? <laughs> She's like, bring it down. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>, Bean. <laughs> She's like, just one more leg. Just one more leg. <laughs> in his so I'm just going to be making the elderberry tea and then adding some sweetener to it and then I'm gonna re-add this back to the pot and add some fun different tastes to it and show you guys another way that you can make it To spice up this elderberry syrup a little bit, I'm going to be adding two cinnamon sticks 
and then a couple of cloves. That wasn't spicy enough for you? What? That wasn't spicy enough for you? You weren't spicy enough? Yeah, you said you gotta spice it up, so it wasn't spicy enough for you? <laughs> yeah, no, it's pretty bland, the elderberry. <laughs> Rude. You're not bland, baby, but you just want bland tea. Oh my god, it smells so good. So I just brought it to a boil, and now I'm just letting it cool down a little bit. continuation of the spring equinox events tonight my honey is not feeling very well which is why I was making us some elderberry tea I forgot my fanny okay I'm back while I was definitely down to cook some dinner with love he said that he wants Panera bread and when I heard Panera bread I was like that sounds delicious. So we're gonna go get some Panera bread. And if I have enough energy, I will probably make the blueberry lavender syrup just because I know that that'll make me so happy when I go to make my matcha in the morning. <laughs> okay, so I got Indy some toys. I got her a pink Kong because I learned from one of my patients that Kong is actually created by somebody here locally in Denver so basically shopping local and then I got some of this like treat easy stuff because I gave Indy some peanut butter and it made her have the shits and I got her this cute little thing to play ball with I also secured the Panera bag so let's go home and give everyone their delicious goodies <laughs> Do you need any water with it? spring equinox and instead of doing a lot of content that day I decided to just enjoy the moment and to go shopping I also picked up a whole bunch of Amazon orders we're gonna go through them together it's only about 7 a.m. I have done my morning routine if you guys haven't watched my morning routines on TikTok every morning on TikTok I do like a get ready with me based on where we're living what the current events of my day were and I feel like I document a little bit more in depth on there than I do on here but we're trying to change that this year all right I'm gonna start opening these packages now I think this is my boyfriend's actually is it a mic babe yeah yeah I got your mic I have no idea what this is. I need scissors. Oh, I think I know what this is. Okay, so there was a person on TikTok and they said that this company or whatever had messed them over or something and that if we used their code that we could get everything free and we only had to pay for shipping. And some of these items were literally, I think my total was like $700 for all of this stuff, but I only had to pay shipping, so it was like 20 bucks. Okay, some of these are really, really cute. I'll have to show you guys whenever I put them on. So a lot of these necklaces are like layered necklaces. And honestly, these qualities look like ass. I can't believe that they were paying like hundreds of dollars for these things, or some people are. I would not, but $20? Sure. We have leather adhesive tape. 
and there's a bunch of other leather things that I got which is the reason for this Amazon haul and will be a project that we'll be working on later together. So I got myself some facial patches for frownies because I just have lines and I just wanted to smooth them out but I don't want Botox so I thought I'd go with these patches instead. But this is my leather kit that I got and it's going to be so that I can fix all of the cat scratches on my leather seats and then I'm going to put this adhesive over it and then get myself like a couch cover and some seat covers so that my cats will stop scratching up my furniture. And then here is more cat training tape. I don't know, but we'll figure it all out together eventually. And this is the last package. <gasps> yes! Okay, so I used to be an avid girly that got my nails done and my toes done. But now that I live on the road, it's not always feasible to do that. So I got myself a little nail kit so that I can clean up my cuticles and pretty much everything. I like that it came in this cute little leather thing. But I just didn't have a nail set here in the RV. I only had nail clippers. So this kind of comes with like everything that you need. Got that so that I could update my nail care. Ooh. Okay, so change of scenery. I'm now up in the bunk because my camera died and I am going to finish the Amazon haul. There was only two things left. So I'm gonna start with the Celtic sea salt that I got. I have been hearing a lot about it online and that it is an amazing source of vital minerals. So I'm going to be adding a little pinch of this to my daily water with my chlorophyll. I hope it doesn't taste salty. People say that it just releases minerals in your water. So I'm super excited about this. And then the last thing that I got. So these are like reusable plastic bags. So some of them are going to be for sandwiches, for fruits, for vegetables, and all of that. There are three of the big ones, six of the small ones, and there's about, oh wait, just kidding. There are six larges and six small ones. So I'm super excited to use these because I can put old fruits and vegetable scraps in here. I can do like half of my tomatoes and stuff. And I use Ziploc bags a lot, especially for snacks. And I think that six of these will be the perfect amount to pack all of my snacks. And then honestly, I could probably prep a couple of sandwiches and other goodies or some of them are dirty. So I'm super stoked about these because I am going to be trying to become as sustainable as possible while living in the RV. And it starts small because it's expensive sometimes to start up. But I don't want to use a bunch of paper towels anymore. So my first step was on my trip in Pennsylvania, I bought myself some napkins. There's about 20 of them and they were made from a small business and they have cute little bees on them. But I use them for most of my cleaning and then a bunch of other ones that I get from Dollar Tree. And to cut down on my plastic bag usage, I got these. If you have any more sustainable tips that will also work really well in a small space, please drop them below because I would love to know what other items I could get that will really help decrease my carbon footprint. Now that we're here, let me just kind of show you what we're doing right now. So I have a pile of crochet right there and then a bunch of the yarns and stuff that I was using. I also have a bunch of books out that I go through. I can be a little bit undecided sometimes, so depending on what I'm feeling, I really, I'm currently reading The Untethered Soul. I've only had it for about a week and I'm almost done with it, only because I like to pace myself and really enjoy the book, so I'm just trying to read a chapter of this a day. And then in my downtime, something that really, really helps motivate me and is awesome for my spiritual path, this one is really good for living the human experience. And then this one is more for my spiritual self. This right here is kind of like my little herbal book. So whatever herbs I'm studying, I will write them down in here, as well as the teas and stuff that I'm making. And then tonight we had a little bit of cleansing action. I was doing some readings for myself. I really love this sickle cell oracle deck. Then I have sacred geometry cards for the visionary path, which are just some tools that I like to indulge in after a little bit of source connection. If I'm honest, sometimes I'll read like three or four books at a time. 
and they're all on different things and it's just like whatever mood I'm in. <laughs> I'm in a very safe space tonight and the spring equinox has brought so much cleansing this week. I've made so many concoctions, I have made so many herbal remedies as well as skincare things so tonight I think I might do some healing through words. See what I can uh, work through today. Happy Friday. It is the week of the spring equinox and today I'm going to be making some blueberry lavender syrup. I really love making fun delicious syrups to mix with my morning matcha. Currently my favorite matcha right now is this super matcha from Lucid. It is made with mushrooms and neurotropics. Alright, no kitties, no kitties. Tangi, you too. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to boil about a cup of water and then two tablespoons of lavender flowers and then I'm going to do about a cup of blueberries afterwards. Okay, now that the blueberry lavender syrup is all done cooking, I'm going to strain it out into here. I don't have anything else. This is all I have because I live in an RV. So we're going to make it work. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to take this jar and my mixture, now that it's a little bit cooled, and just pour it into the jar. It's still a little bit warm, so I'm going to cap it and leave it out on my counter to cool just a little bit longer before putting it in the fridge. 